Hi, I'm Tom Tomlinson and welcome to my channel. I've been building and flying model aeroplanes since 1958 and have spent the last 25 years uh, primarily focusing upon indoor duration models up to international class. I help to run an indoor modelling group which meets on a monthly basis where basically what we're trying to do is to keep alive free flight flying indoors um, with models up to about 24 inches span. But during the Covid pandemic, of course, we've not been able to go out into halls um, for obvious reasons. And so recently I've reconnected with some of my early times, nostalgic times, and have been doing some outdoor free flight flying. I've had great fun building and flying the Keelcraft Competitor and it's just about beginning to show some promise and now I'm about to build a, a Peewee 30 a P30 model it, which is perfect for the small kind of flying field that, that we can get locally. So what I'm hoping to do today is to take you down into my workshop and we'll unbox the kit which I've got and then look forward to building it and coming back to the channel with the finished product. Okay, here we go with the unboxing and well, I've not actually been inside this box yet because I thought I'd, I'd do this unboxing absolutely clean but I've just slit the sellotape around it which has kept the box closed and I look inside and be as surprised as you are. As you can see the box is really nicely packed. One of the things I like to see is the, the fact that they've put this bubble wrap to keep the stuff in there from sliding around and getting damaged. So that's really good. So let's take that out and we'll bit by bit we'll see what we've got in here. Bit of bubble wrap. Well the first thing that strikes me is just how nicely this is packed. Um, everything in here seems to be very well made and with attention to detail. This looks like the plan, which peeping down it, it is. And that's got some nice small rubber bands which will come in useful for DTs later on. Okay. Um, there's a ready-made prop unit with nice bushes on. Uh, very nice propeller. If anything, to, to my duration eyes, it feels a little heavy, a, a, a little kind of thicker, but it will survive and it's a very, very nice shape. The propeller shape is, is well thought out. 
um, and should give some good duration I think. Yeah, the bushes are very nice. You can see. Yeah, nice, nice unit. And the nice thing is, there's been no skimping on the length of wire that you get. Sometimes in kits, uh, what I find is that you they skimp on little things, and you suddenly find you've got to find an extra piece of wire from your own scrap box. But this is clearly well thought out. Nice little touch. The um, wire is already in and, and they, put, they put some tape just to hold it in place so it doesn't get lost in the box. Shows attention to detail. I'm, I'm beginning to like this kit already. Nice bunch of rubber. Looks like 332nd rubber. Sport, it, tanned sport rubber. Super sport. Uh, looks very nice. Yeah. Should do well. Now, inside, this, this model has a, a, a rolled tube fuselage and it's very nicely made out of uh, what looks like what looks like 40th, 40 thou, just under 16th of an inch, 40 thou wood, nicely rolled and joined. Um, they've included some tissue uh, to be used in, I don't particularly like the colour of that tissue so I, I, I would change that uh, for something prettier and it's, they're actually dark colours as well so in the air it's a distance you'd have trouble seeing that so I, I like bright colours like bright yellows and, and reds which you can see against the blue sky if, if, if it's out flying at a distance. What I can see at the end is that they've included a very nice taper plug. Um, that's not easy to make um, and it's not heavy. That's not easy to make and for a kit of this kind of price, um, I think it was just under £30 or something like that for this kind of price, this kind of prefabrication uh, I think is very good indeed. Now, to the important bit. What's the quality of the wood? Picking out the strip wood, of which there is plenty, I would say the quality of this wood is very nice. It's light, it's not cheesy, it's nice and, you know, it's been nice and strong for, for its purpose. I mean, it's a free flight outdoor model, so it's not going to be super strong like a big radio control model but the quality of the wood is nice the, the grain is very straight it's very nice so once again the hallmark of a good kit yeah the, there's plenty of wood for the job they, they, they've not skimped on the amount of wood that you get I really hate it when you get a kit where you've suddenly got to go in your scrap box and find a piece of wood that is not only the right size but it actually matches this in density and stiffness and stuff like that. One of the things about flying indoor duration models that only weigh 1.4 grams is the quality of the wood is everything and so it makes me hypercritical about, about the kind of woods that you get. But this is very nice. Right, so now we're going to come to the sheet wood and the laser cut. Oh, the laser cutting. Right, let's see if you can see the laser cutting. Very nice. This is very crisp, very nice laser cutting. Be very easy to take out. It means you it, you do away with all the drudgery of having to carve tiny little notches into into wing ribs and stuff like that. If you if you follow instructions with this model carefully it will build very easily even for relative beginners. In fact for it, I would think this is perfect for an outdoor model for a relative beginner. Yeah, beautiful little circles
cut out by the laser for to go into the fuselage in the nose block. Yet another sheet of ribs. One of the things you've got to be a bit careful, I can see immediately on this. If, you, if you're going to build this model, you need to ensure that you get the right ribs. They all look the same, but some of them are very slightly different to the others. I can see it already looking at it. Some, some of the things like um, wingtip end ribs are not the same as the ones that are going along the main wing. So be really careful before you start building to have a look at the plan and sort out which ribs are supposed to go where. Otherwise you're going to get your wing finished and suddenly find you haven't got proper ribs in the right place. I have a friend who's already built one of these and he found exactly that. So golden rule, look at the plan very carefully before you start building, very carefully. But nice wood, beautifully laser cut. This is, this is a really nice attention to detail, right? Silk strips, right, for reinforcing the fuselage to the pylon joint. I mean, that's, that's really nice. I mean, some kits would just leave you to find a bit, a bit of old bandage or something. That's, and that's in a bag. You know, it's a beautifully produced kit. Right, my guess is this is a piece of ply, this is a piece of about three, mm, 364th ply, something like that. And that it contains parts of the nose block. I, you can see that that's, that's going to fit into the nose block. Um, I think that these two funny shaped pieces, that look like, like hands, are going to be reinforcers to go on the roll fuselage for where the dowel goes through to hold the rubber at the back. That's my guess. I haven't looked at the plan yet, but that would be my guess. That's what they're for. Yet another little bag with attention to detail yet again, including cocktail sticks for putting glue on. That's wonderful. And nice piece of aluminium doweling, which will, I'll turn that around, which you'll use to hold the rubber at the back. They've, they've, they've included a nice little already preformed motor hook so that the rubber, the rubber goes over the little loops and um, your, your winder, your drill winder goes into the little hole at the front. But again, you know, lovely. They've even included some pins in there. Really nice attention to detail. I've ended up with one little piece of wood, which without looking at the plan, I don't know what it is, but it's included for some purpose. So I would be very careful and not throw that away. It, yeah, it, it looks like a bit of packing for, for a wing or something to go under, under the leading edge of a wing, but I'm not sure because I haven't looked at the plan. And that's, that's the box, empty. And this is the pile of stuff I've taken out. You'll have gathered by now from what I've been saying that I rate this kit very highly. It's a perfect beginner's outdoor rubber powered model. You've got everything that you need apart from a little bit of uh, lubrication for the rubber. Um, you can buy little tubes of uh, castor oil and glycerin rubber lubricant from model dealers on the internet. I use silicon rubber, silicon lube on all of my motors uh, for competition purposes and whatever and I have no trouble with the rubber perishing and 
it, it, it really means you can, if you want to at the top end you can really pile on some turns safely. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been uh, something of a challenge for me because I'm, I'm not used to videoing. Uh, I am used to talking to people because I used to be a lecturer but I'm not used to videoing. I'm a bit incompetent at it. But I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope to see you again. Bye.